Baguong Tagalog pronunciation, bu -o, Ilocano, Buguang is a Philippine condiment partially or completely made of either fermented fish or krill with salt. The fermentation process also produces fish sauce known as patis. The preparation of baguong can vary regionally in the Philippines. Types Baguong is usually made from a variety of fish species, including the following Anchovies, known as dillies, monomon, bolina, or garayan Stolfris and Encrasicolina species Round scads, known as galungong or timodios Decapteris species Bonnetmouths red bait or rubyfish known as terong Emelichthys nitidus, Emelichthys strusicari, and Plagiogenean rubiginosum Ponyfish, known as sapsap, Leonithus, Photopectoralis, and Aquilites species. Rabbitfish, known as padas, Cygonus species. Bar-eyed gobies, known as epon, Glossogobius juris. Herrings, Clupioides lila. Silver perch, known as ayungan, Leopotherapon plumbius. Baguong made from fish is encompassed by the term baguong isda, lit. Fish baguong, in Luzon and northern parts of the Visayas. In the southern Visayas and Mindanao, fish baguong is known as guinamos also spelled genamos. They can be distinguished further by the type of fish they are made of. Those made from anchovies are generally known as baguong monomon or baguong dillies and those from bonnetmouths as baguong terong. Baguong can also be made from krill. This type of baguong is known as baguong alamang. It is called Iap or Alamang in the southern Philippines, Aramang in Ilocos and parts of northern Luzon, and Janamos or Dayok in western Visayas. In rarer instances, it can also be made from oysters, clams, and fish and shrimp roe. A kind of biguang made in the town of Balayan, Batangas is also known as biguang Balayan. Preparation Baguong ISDA and Baguong Alamang Baguong ISDA is prepared by mixing salt and fish usually by volume, mixture proportions are proprietary depending on the manufacturer. The salt and fish are mixed uniformly, usually by hand. The mixture is kept inside large earthen fermentation jars known as Tapayan in Tagalog and Visayan languages, and Bernay in Ilocano. It is covered, to keep flies away, and left to ferment for 30 to 90 days with occasional stirring to make sure the salt is spread evenly. The mixture can significantly expand during the process. The preparation of baguong alamang shrimp or krill paste is similar, with krill cleaned thoroughly and washed in weak brine solution 10%. As in fish baguong, the shrimp are then mixed with salt in a 25% salt to 75% shrimp ratio by weight. The products of the fermentation process are usually pale gray to white in color. To obtain the characteristic red or pink color of some baguong, a kind of food coloring known as ankuk is added. Ankuk is made from rice inoculated with a species of red mold High quality salt with little mineral impurities are preferred. High metallic content in the salt used can often result in darker colors to the resulting baguong and a less agreeable undertaste. Likewise, oversalting and undersalting also has a significant impact on the rate and quality of fermentation due to their effects on the bacteria involved in the process. Some manufacturers grind the fermented product finely and sell the resulting mixture as fish paste. Patis Patis or fish sauce is a byproduct of the fermentation process. It is a clear, yellowish liquid that floats above the fermented mixture, and has sharp salty or cheese-like flavor. Sauces similar to patis include nook mam in Vietnam, nam pha, in Laos, hom ha in China, nam pla in Thailand, shitsuru in Japan and saeu chot in Korea, as well as the garum of ancient Greece and the Roman Empire. To obtain patis, fermentation is longer, usually taking six months to a year. During the longer fermentation processes, the fish or shrimp constituents disintegrate further, producing a clear yellowish liquid on top of the mixture due to hydrolysis. This is the patis, it can be harvested once it has developed its characteristic smell. It is drained, pasteurized, and bottled separately, while the residue is turned into baguong. 
If the residual solids are not moist enough, brine is usually added. The rate of fermentation can vary depending on the pH levels of the mixture and the temperature. Exposure to sunlight can also reduce the amount of time required to two months. Reputation Over the centuries, Western unfamiliarity with biguong has given it a reputation as an «exotic» dish, portrayed in a positive or negative light depending on the point of view of the writer. For example, one early description was Spanish colonial official Antonio de Morga, whose book Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas Events in the Philippine Isles included a description of biguong as «fish which has started to rot and stink. This later prompted preeminent Philippine nationalist Jose Rizal to denounce the descriptions in his 1890 annotation, saying, This is another preoccupation of the Spaniards who, like any other nation, treat food to which they are not accustomed or is unknown to them with disgust. This fish that Morga mentions, that cannot be good until it begins to rot, is biguong, and those who have eaten it and tasted it know that it neither is nor should be rotten. See also Biguang Monomen Biguang Terong Fish sauce Garam List of fermented foods List of fish sauces Shrimp paste Taba ng Talanka <laughs>